Welcome to other edition to the Assassin Sports Show and much more, guys. So, guys, thank you for the love, appreciation you bring each and every day. Y'all are the face that run the place, guys. Y'all are my assassins, right? Y'all are y'all killing it. Me getting subscribers each and every day. I cannot do this without y'all, and y'all been awesome with that. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. My new assassins, welcome. My old assassin, you know what we do here. Y'all are the face that run the place. This is all about y'all. This is all about the fans. And quickly, man, man, I got to say, no other YouTube channel is doing this. Nobody dedicated to the fans. Everybody got their own stick. This is dedicated to the fans. No opinion is stupid. I hope you know. Everybody's opinion matters in this show. Whatever you want to say, it's open season. With respect, you know what I'm saying? So, it's open to y'all. So, my opinion, I think my opinions are great, but I might see it a different point of view. Jet might have a good opinion, or Justin, John, T might have, they, and they do have great opinions. All of them have great opinions. Me go back and forth, and they got great opinions all the time. So, because I t say something, that don't mean I'm right, guys. That don't mean I'm right. That's what, what I think, but I want to see your point of view, because maybe I didn't see that point of view, and that's what makes this show different than any other show. That y'all could be comfortable and say what y'all got to say. And nobody could say anything crazy, you know? So, with respect. So, just keep that in mind. It's all about y'all, guys. It's all about y'all. And other YouTubers and you go to other channels. Guess what they do? If you have your own opinion. Guess what? They call you. Because I, I had that done to me. Because what well, makes your opinion better than mine? I watch the same thing you're watching. And then... And then the long end, guys, I'm right. And then they're wrong. So, but to call me dumb or whatever, that's not cool. Because nobody's right or wrong sometimes. Maybe in the long run, you was right. And I'll give it that to you. Hey, man, you were right. But that don't mean I, I'm I'm right all the time. So, so I hope you know. If you're passing through this channel you want to become an assassin, hit that subscribe button. Become an assassin today. Guarantee. T. So, Real quick, I want to give a shout out to John, Justin, T, Jet. Guys, I want to say this to y'all. We started this thing from the beginning, guys, and y'all stuck by me from the beginning. I cannot say enough thank you. Y'all are the original assassins, guys, original assassins. Those are the guys here because they've been with me from the beginning. When we didn't have nothing and we have grown this to 224, that's amazing. I want to just a shout out to y'all because y'all been awesome. Y'all opinions been amazing too. So all y'all opinions been hard, man. I can't even bother y'all sometimes because y'all right. I mean, y'all opinions are good. So I can't really go back and forth. So it's been awesome going back and forth with y'all. So I want to say thank you for those comments and stick it by me from the beginning. So getting that out of the way. Let's talk about tour. Yes, me going to talk about tour again. Because, guys, what did I say was going to happen? Week one of practice or training camps, guess what? What they say? Oh, Tua. Tua don't look good. Something's wrong with Tua. Second week of practice. Oh, Alabama Tua looks good. Oh, he looks like Alabama Tua. Well, I told you what these beat writers was going to keep on doing. They just playing y'all back and forth. I told you, Tua, first week, Tua's not going to look good. He's learning the flow. He's learning the guys. He's trying to figure things out. Tua, right now, is on fire. Let's get that right. Tua is on fire right now. Why? Why I say he's on fire? His accuracy is like, it's getting there, man. He already has the accuracy, but he knows the guys, the cuts in and out, and he's delivering. His hip looks good. I mean, that's not coming from me. That's coming from the beat writers now. That's coming from the beat writers. I might I'm, imagine that. His hip looks amazing. His arm strength looks right there like it was in college. Like, Alabama Tua is coming through right now. So, um, this is what I'm telling you guys. That's why you can't get beat writers all this because they flip-flop. They flip-flop. Yes, they're watching them and all that. But what I told you, I say, get to us sometimes because he didn't have an off-season. He didn't have preseason. But now look at him. Now look like the Alabama Tua that I've been saying. And that, that's the nickname I'm giving him because he come from Alabama. So he's Alabama Tua, man. That Alabama Tua, boy, he's back, ready to go, ready to rip, man. Because I'm telling you, like I've been telling you from the beginning, 
Tua is going to be a beast in this league. He is going to be the face that runs the pace in the NFL. Garen damn T. So I'm I'm not Charles Barkley, but I'm better than Charles because I can I can make picks. <laughs> Charles cannot make picks. So a little joke in there, guys. So I'm telling you that Tua looks amazing right now. He got that flow. He got that flow, guys. So like I said before, if if I'm Flores, yes, you want Fitzpatrick to start. I get it. But how do you say to this guy, he's healthy. Now we got to go. We got to go with Fitzpatrick. Ooh, ooh. I don't want to be in that conversation because you know Tua is itching to get in there. You know he's itching to get in there. And and what he's doing in practice right now? How do you tell your team? Nah, he's not the best chance to win. It's this guy. I'm just telling you guys. If if I'm if I'm Coach Flores and he's healthy and they give me the green light and he's been just Building, building, and he looks the best at the training camp. Man, I got to start him, dude. I know what people have been saying. I know what they've been saying. I know, but if he's a hundred percent, that's what I mean, guys. If he's a hundred percent, no issue with those hips, nothing is holding him back. Man, I got to start him, guys. I, I'm sorry. I know, I know me. I know we've been going back and forth, but ooh, man, how do you tell that kid? Nah, you ain't the best quarterback right now. Ooh, man, that's not a conversation I want to be in because I know how competitive is Tua, and you tell that kid no, and he's itching to get in that field. He wants to get in that field, and he knows he's the best quarterback in the division, even in his teammate and by his teammates. Man, I, I can't I can't see how they say no to him, but I'm not the coach. I'm not and, and that's a conversation. Listen, I support my dolphin either or I might be heartbroken because I do want Tua to start. That's a guarantee. I want him to start. But man, Tua has just been on fire lately, man. And to tell that kid, no, you you not you're not ready or you're not ready to do this, oof, ooh, it's just it's just, Ooh, it's just horrible. It's just, it's just gonna be horrible. Cause imagine that. And he knows he's the best quarterback in in, in that locker room. Oof. So I told you these beat writers was gonna change their tune. I've been telling you, give to show a time. Yes, he doesn't look good in the first week because he didn't have off season. Those off season like we used to the OTAs and all that. They didn't have that. And now like y'all seeing his accuracy, his hip looks good. And that's not coming from me. That's coming from the team. That's coming from media members. That's coming from all around the place. Everything looks like his arm strength is, is there now. And I'll tell you this. He's going to look better every... So this week, he looks good now. Imagine next week. Imagine the week after that. Because guess what? He's, he's learning the offense. He's learning the, the movements of the offense, the defense. So imagine how, how he's going to look. And I guarantee you, they throw him, they throw in every kind of defense, the kitchen sink at him, and and he's still performing where he's performing. At this point, he had passed Josh Rosen, and and him and Fitzpatrick are right there tuning And to me, like I say, if if it's close and he's healthy, I got him up, man. I got him starting week one. That's me. I mean, I might be wrong, guys. Like I said, but <laughs> that's me. It's just hard to say, no, kid, you're not ready because you know he's ready. So, guys, that's it. That's the big news today of training camp. So, if he looks this good, I match your week three, and it's going to be amazing. So, guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching my little videos. And, and like I said, man, we started this thing from the bottom, and we just keep on bringing it each and every day strong. So, thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. See you later. I'm making my other video. It's going to be about Ray-Bans gla glasses, what's good, and Ray-Bans, what not to buy. So stay tuned to that, guys. Okay? All right, guys. See you.